Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of Retry. Today we're going to be looking at one of my personal favorites, Charlie Chuck's Food Fight. For the Atari 7800. Atari was having a lot of problems getting good games for their system. Nintendo required the game developers keep their titles exclusive to the NES for two years. This pretty much locked Atari out. The Sega Master System was also already available and a legitimate contender to Nintendo. So when Atari tried to fight their way back into the console market, they just couldn't get a share. But hey, I am a proud owner of an Atari 7800. They got my money. I like the system and I love the backwards compatibility with the 2600 games that I had already owned at the time. Food Fight is considered to be one of the few universally accepted good 7800 games for the Atari. Now I did see one piece of trivia that made me laugh and I can't speak for its validity but you can decide for yourself. The trivia goes as this, that Charlie Chuck's Food Fight is actually based and inspired by the Food Fight in Animal House. The gameplay of Food Fight is very straightforward. You control Charlie Chuck, a young boy trying to run across the screen and eat an ice cream cone. And standing in your way, four pissed off chefs by the name of Oscar, Angelo, Jacques, and Zorba. I'll tell you man, I love old school video games. Think about Blinky and Clyde and Pac-Man, they named everything, even the pissed off murderous chefs. Jacques and Zorba, those are great names. But that's the golden age for you, man. They had to name everything and make some sort of story that explained the ridiculous action on screen, even if the game itself couldn't explain it. But I digress. At its core, it's just a simple action game that's incredibly effective. You run around, pick up food, throw it, hit the chefs, grab the ice cream cone, and move on. And if you managed to have a particularly harrowing escape from the chefs, the game actually had an instant replay feature. Think about that for a second. This game was an action game for the Atari 7800, made 23 years ago, and it had instant replay. That's pretty cool. Another feature of Food Fight, which was extremely unusual for the time, was the inclusion of the ability for the player to pick a difficulty level. This wasn't a common feature of games till over a decade after Food Fight was released. The game has 125 levels, but if you plan on beating it, you better have reflexes of steel because I'll be honest, uh, it is brutal. I mean, once you get past, I say, level 30 or 40, uh, the difficulty really ramps up and you've got to be pretty much perfect. Now this is the part of retry where I say, if you want to play this awesome game, here's where to find it. And unfortunately for Food Fight, it's not that simple. This is one of those rare occasions where I think that the console release was actually better than the arcade version of the game. Early versions of Charlie Chuck's Food Fight in the arcade actually had a trackball to control the character and honestly was much more difficult. There were two cartridge releases of Food Fight. The first being the one that you've been watching, and that's the one for the Atari 7800. The second one was released on the Atari XEGS in 1988. And that system honestly did even worse in sales than the Atari 7800, so it's going to be even harder to find that one. Your best bet if you want to play this game is to track down the Atari Flashback released in 2004. It comes with Atari 7800 replica controllers and a bunch of games built right into the system. Thanks for watching. For VideoGameSaga.com, this is Tony B, and I'm out. Retry? You know it.